What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Sweet Studio. Joshua Grove here with another tutorial for you to learn. But before we jump into that tutorial, please, if you have not yet subscribed to the Sweet Sindamas channel, please do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. You'll stay up to date with all of the new tutorials coming out and help us reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. So today we are continuing on a recent tutorial called Dark Side UFO. We are gonna be learning the Dark Side swap spike. So for this trick, you're gonna to wanna to know how to do the dark side UFO as well as a swap spike. Uh, this will help you learn some different techniques in tracking the ball as well as flipping the cannon uh, the right direction and uh, momentum. So the dark side swap spike looks just like this. You really wanna focus on trying to get a flat UFO. The tom is gonna to come up into the air. We're gonna swap into that SAR grip and then finish with a down spike. So let's break this thing down. First things first, you're gonna get into airplane, just like the dark side UFO. We're gonna tilt the can to the outside uh, of our body. Same thing with the dark side UFO as well with that prep. We're just gonna to pull towards our body to create that UFO motion. And this time, the can is only gonna go a full 360 degrees instead of a, a one and a half uh, rotation. I'm gonna do a full rotation. And just as it's about in that half rotation, right about after you flick the can out, you're actually gonna toss the Tama into the air before you go into that trade, uh, that swap spike. So, a couple of things here. I'm spinning the Tama as I throw the Tama into the air. This helps it stay on axis. A lot of people don't do that. Some people do do it. I'm gonna, I said doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny, dude? It's not. So there's two ways you can go about this. You can either A, spin the Tama, or B, not spin the Tama. I prefer to spin the Tama. It gets me a more consistent down spike with this trick, and I'm gonna teach you how I do this, uh, the spin. So the idea is when you're doing the, the release, you wanna make sure that the Tama is totally horizontal, meaning that the, the Tama hole is totally uh, parallel, flat with the ground. And the idea is I take my middle finger and my pointer finger, middle finger ideally right in the middle of the Tama, and as I release the, the Ken and it starts flipping in the air, I release the Tama as it rolls up my finger. So you're gonna see it rolls up my fingers, using my middle finger to guide, my pointer finger also to support, trying to focus uh, as hard as I can to get a flat, even spin. Sometimes you'll notice it'll be a little wobbly, but usually you'll still be able to spike it if it's a, a clean enough spin. So there's two points. You have the release of that UFO spin, and then the toss with the Tama. So it's a toss, toss. You're gonna have a one, two, I'm gonna catch. Let you in on a little secret. One, two, catch. So after you get the toss of the Ken and then the toss of the Tama, you have to track that Ken as it's rotating around one full rotation, grab and sar grip, and then spot that Tama hole and follow through with the down spike. A couple challenge points for this trick is you start to think about the down spike before you actually get to the down spike, meaning I start to flip the Ken in a weird direction before I even get to throwing the Tama up in the air. So just really focus on taking the trick one step at a time. Using your knees, slow it all down, set up the spin, toss, and follow through. Your knees allow you that extra half a second of time to follow through with the trick when you perform it. That's essentially it. Those few steps, when practiced over and over and over again, will get you closer and closer to this trick. The idea is just making sure that it's a flat rotation, getting a clean Tama toss so that you can see the Tama spinning uh, nice and flat with that rotation, and then just grabbing the can as best as you can in Sara Grip, tracking the ball, and following through. This is a very fun trick, and you can add the double dark side swap spike with two rotations, triple dark side swap. It's a super fun variation. If you haven't already, be sure to go check out Wyatt Bray, who coined this trick. Super, super good at performing this trick. He's always got variations that blow everyone's mind. So thanks Wyatt for this trick. If you've been watching our videos for a while now and you realize that you have not yet subscribed, just look down there, you can tell. Hit that subscribe button, do us a favor. We are trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year, so help us reach our goal. If you like this video, slam that like button. Be sure to drop a comment. Let us know what you think and any other future tricks you would like to learn. As always, thank you so much for watching and tuning in, and we'll see you next time in the Sweet Studio. Thanks a lot for tuning in and checking out our videos. Make sure you go and smash that subscribe button right there. We need all the subscribers we can get. Also, you can shop right here. Go to Sweet Kandamas and get yourself a new Dama.